Hey Morningstar, we've been spending a lot of time this month discussing peace, namely how God ironically disturbs our earthly peace in order to be able to bring us heavenly peace. And, and for the most part, we've looked at the ways God's broken into and through the lives of people in the Bible, like, like John the Baptist and Mary and Joseph. We've, we've talked about how God will use confession to bring his peace, how we'll sometimes have to submit our plans to his purpose in order to experience peace, how, how serving the poor can actually be a means of experiencing God and, and his peace. Uh, today, I thought I'd take a moment and talk about how we can actively seek out peace, not by doing one more thing, which is the good news, right? Not uh, adding another thing to our, our holiday shopping list or our to-do list or to our already fully loaded day. In, in fact, just the opposite, clearing it out, setting aside 10 to 15 minutes for, get this, nothing. For years, I've, I've heard about and read about the spiritual discipline of meditation, but I've never really practiced it. I've read my Bible, I've spent time, uh, quiet time reflecting on what I've read, I've spent time in prayer, but never really meditation, which is crazy because one of the things I, I struggle most, most in life is slowing down and getting my mind quiet and just being okay with doing nothing. So what better way to work on that than through meditation, right? So I started this week, 12 minutes a day. Now for those who might be, as I was, a little unfamiliar with what meditation really is, let me go over a few of the basics. First of all, it's a spiritual discipline practiced by Christians and by lots of other people, people of other faiths and people who may not even have faith. Um, a lot of folks today associate, you know, meditation with new age spirituality, but the truth is it, it goes all the way back into the Old Testament as a pathway that people have always uh, used to seek God and contentment and peace. More than anything, meditation is about quieting our mind, which for me, uh, maybe you as well, might be best described as like a, a mad monkey jumping from limb to limb, this way and that. I mean, my mind is always going in all these different directions, right? So, so in meditation, you, you just find a quiet place. Then sit on the floor or in a straight back chair. Uh, really need to make sure that your, your, uh, your back is, is kind of straight. You can, you can go crisscross applesauce, lotus style, but you don't have to as long as your, your back is straight. Personally, I like to set an alarm on my phone for 12 minutes and then dial up some meditation music on my Spotify app. Uh, some folks might even turn off the lights or light a candle. That's cool. Um, next, just kind of close your eyes and begin to, to focus on your breathing, in and out, in and out. Uh, when, you, when you inhale, make sure your, your, your belly goes out. When you exhale, pull your, your belly in toward your spine. And, and as you do, just focus on your breath for a couple minutes and, and focus on throwing out any thought that comes into your mind. As soon as you become aware of any thought, uh, toss it out. Uh, and then what I like to do is find a short phrase that I can repeat over and over again. Here's a few that I've tried already this week. God of love, God of peace. God of love, God of peace. Uh, how about this one? Joyful, joyful, I adore thee. Joyful, joyful, I adore thee. Maybe a seek your peace, share your peace. Seek your peace, share your peace. Less of me, more of you. Remember, sh uh, focus on, on the short mantra and your breathing and throw away any other thought. So, so the question may be, why should you meditate, right? Most importantly, to begin to experience God's peace in your soul, quiet in your mind. And as you do this, listen, there are going to be a couple things that get produced as a result, all of which are great for you. First of all, greater ability to concentrate. Second, less frustration with the little things, the small stuff in life. And third, less stress, lower levels of cortisol in your brain, which will translate to better overall emotional and physical health. Hey friends, Jesus tells us to love others as we love ourselves. So one of the best ways you can love yourself is to give yourself the gift of some quiet space this season. And when you put yourself in a quiet place, and work to quiet your mind, you'll begin to discover that God 
will clothe you with a peace that is real and lasting, no matter what the rest of your day might bring. So listen, as always, be the church this week, and I can't wait to see you in worship this weekend, and then hopefully next Tuesday or Wednesday for one of our five Christmas Eve worship services that we've entitled Heavenly Peace? Question mark. See you then.